Hi, my name's Alex Walford. I'm a systems engineer for Confluent. And in this short video, I want to show you the bare minimum uh, that you need to know to get started with Spring Boot and Kafka. And it's really not a lot, so let's take a look. Um, so we're going to fire up IntelliJ here. We're going to create a new project. And I'm going to be using the Spring Initializer. This is going to pull in the dependencies uh, based on um, sort of what I want to connect to. So um, I'm going to give it group artifact and version. So io.walford. I'm going to call it, I don't know, Spring Boot uh, Kafka example. Kafka example. And I'm not going to fiddle around with any of these settings. Um, you can do that if you want to. So I'm going to pull in Kafka, Spring Kafka here. And that's it. That's all I need. And so let's uh, stub out this project. This is going to create uh, a Maven um, project. And I'm going to check this enable auto import down at the bottom there. And let's have a look at our basic project. So what have we got? We've got a main container. So I'm going to make a class here. So the first class I'm going to do is going to be one that produces messages. Um, so I'm going to call it, I don't know, uh, produce uh, Kafka or something like that. And um, because it's a Spring project, um, I need to tell it, it this is a component. So I'm going to use this annotation, at component. I'm going to enable Kafka here. So uh, at uh, enable Kafka. And I need um, to tell Spring what the, the bootstrap servers are. So I'm going to pop down to my application.properties and I'm going to use, let the, the IDE help me here a little bit. Uh, so cpo1.walford.io, that's one of my um, uh, bootstrap uh, servers. So I have two more, two and three. So I'll just quickly edit those, 02, 03. Okay, yeah, I think, I think that's about it. All right, so now we need to auto-wire the Kafka uh, template. So uh, auto-wired uh, Kafka template. Um, and then I'm going to schedule something to run every, every say, second. And I'm going to write a UUID, a universally unique identifier to a Kafka topic. Um, and so let's... Um, use the scheduled. So I'm going to say at scheduled. Uh, and then I'm going to say the uh, fixed delay. So fixed delay every thousand milliseconds um, do something. So this is going to be private void, oops, void, um, I don't know, send UUID. And now we're going to say Kafka template dot send. We're going to give it the topic name, which is going to be UUID. And then we are going to uh, create a UUID to send. So UUID uh, dot uh, random UUID. Yeah, I think that should be fine. So that's it. That's all we need to do to send a message uh, to Kafka. Just give it a topic, give it a thing to send, and that's it. So um, that's. Um, let's just check that this runs. So I'm going I'm to... Uh, fire this guy up, um, just make sure it's working, and then we will consume those UUIDs in the, in the same application. So, um, ooh, some, something happened. So I, I, I need to enable scheduling, uh, and then I think we should be in good shape. So what happened there is I didn't enable scheduling, so it kind of ignored this annotation here. So let's enable scheduling, run it, and UID cannot be cast to string. I need to call to string on this, and then I think we're in good, sh good shape. Let's try that one more time. OK, so we're chugging along. We're, we're uh, sending those messages to Kafka right now. I'm going to write a class that is going to consume those messages. Um, so let's uh, just stop this. I'm going to have a new class here, new Java class, uh, consume Kafka. And um, this, again, this is going to be a component. Um, and I'm going to say at Kafka listener. And in here, what do I have to do? Private void, uh, void, um, you know, consume message or something. Consume message. And 
string message. And then uh, in here, I need to tell it what topics to consume from. So the topics is going to be UUID, just one topic. And I'm going to give it a consumer group, which I'm going to call the group ID, group ID, and I'm going to call that UUID. Could be anything. This is just a, a consumer group. If you're not sure what that is, uh, just Google it. So here we go. Let's consume the message, and we'll send it to standard out. So uh, message, so we'll consume these messages. So in the um, console output at the bottom there, if we're consuming the messages, we should see a bunch of UUIDs. So let's take a look. And hopefully we'll see one every second. OK, it's, it, it caught up. There were some, some that hadn't been consumed yet. But yes, this is it, right? You can see that we are both consuming and producing messages within the same app. It took. I don't know, a few minutes to, uh, to do this. And uh, it's very, very simple, very fast, um, not much code. you got to love Spring um, for, for making that easy, really super easy and, and, and efficient um, to do. So I hope that was interesting. Thanks so much for watching.